Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Did you all survive the heat wave this week? Today, I'm so happy to talk about a movie that is close to my heart. On this day, 12 years ago, I saw the movie up. Look, I still have the ticket. Up is a deep film and it's a really big tearjerker that has an amazing message. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. Let's get to talking about this adventure. 12 years ago, Pixar released Up. Carl Fredrickson, a lonely widower, attaches balloons to his house and travels to South America. Only he is not alone. Russell, an eight-year-old wilderness explorer, Doug the talking dog, and Kevin, a gigantic bird, take the journey of a lifetime. Running into dangers, they learn the true meaning of adventure. I still remember the day I experienced up. Waiting in agony for school to end, I remember my heart pounding in glee as we walked into the theater. And boy, was it a much different story than from what I expected. Up has become one of my favorite films that I will cherish forever. I saw it three times in the theater. Up has amazing characters, a wonderful story, and a great message. It is a symbolic film about life and death. What I love about Up is that it didn't hold back. It's the right movie to watch if you are struggling. A terrific cast brought out the voices of our characters. Ed Asner did an incredible job as the curmudgeon Carl Fredrickson. This was Jordan Nagai's first voice acting experience as the energetic Russell. And the late Christopher Plummer was genuine as the evil Charles Muntz. You'll even get a kick out of Bob Peterson's memorable performance as Doug. He definitely channeled his inner dog. I have never seen an animated film that highlights love like Up. Carl and Ellie's life story is dedicated in this powerful five minute sequence. No words, just moving piano music. The animation is spectacular. Animators spent countless hours rendering and even studying the colorful balloons. I would have loved to have traveled to South America with the creators. The beautiful setting is one of the most remarkable parts of the film. Up is a mixture of tears and laughter. Pixar had the best comedic timing. Most of Carl and Russell's lines are hilarious. You'll get a kick out of Doug's introduction scene. And the old man fight had me laughing out loud. Carl and Russell's friendship is beautiful. For me, the scene where the two are talking late at night really touched me the first time. I was so excited about Up after watching numerous clips of the film that I forgot Carl and Russell didn't know each other. Friendship is a given. It doesn't matter how far apart you are in age to be friends. Up establishes a beautiful bond that I will treasure forever. Pixar knows how to make you smile. Dogs highlight the screen. And not just any dogs, talking dogs. Don't you wish that you had a collar for your dog that transmits their thoughts? Every sequence is beautiful. There's never a dull moment. Even the quiet scenes have such a breathtaking impact. It is never too late to change. Failure, it's not fun. But what you should never do is let that failure ruin you. You only live once, live life. Enjoy the little things in life. In the 12 years since Up was released, I have lost three close family members of which being my grandparents, who I saw the film with on my second viewing. Loss is difficult. It takes a while to recover. We cannot let ourselves walk into the shadows away from the world. I cannot thank up enough because I have no idea where I would be. We are not alone. Up is an epic ride from start to finish. If you have not seen this film yet, I recommend that you put it on your watch list. The film's themes are heavy, especially for young audiences, but it is still worth a watch. I honestly felt like a different person walking out of the theater 12 years ago. Pack tissues because you are going to need them. Thank you, Pixar, for this 
moving and genuine film. Adventure will always be out there. Thanks for tuning into my review of Up. This movie means a lot to me and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to share my thoughts with you. For next time, I'm seeing Cruella in theaters. Expect my review of that. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle and this has been another one of my movie reviews.